Okay, here's a picture of the number line. Here's zero and one, two, three, four, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four. And in the homework, they give you two values on the number line. Let's say for the sake of discussion right there, let's call that 2.37. And right over here, let's call that negative 3.14. They give you these two points on the number line and give you another number and ask you if it's in between or not. Now, they want you to visualize the number line and determine whether another number is in between by placing it on the number line and seeing if it's in this region in between those two numbers. So as an example, Let's try is 1.26 in between. Well, to answer this question, I'm going to reproduce that number line that we started out with and place 1.26 on it and see where 1.26 is. 3, here's negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. So here's the place that I'm calling negative 3.14. Here's the place that's about 2.37. I'm just kind of estimating where these decimals are. I'm not going to get out a micrometer and measure. So where is 1.26? So 1.26 is between 1 and 2. Because it's 2 there, it's a little bit closer to 1 than it is to 2. So I'm going to say that 1.26 is about there. And notice it is in the region that's in between. So yes, 1.26 is in between. Okay, so of course I'm now going to have to do an example of a number that's not in between. So here's another example. Is negative 3.15 in between? And again, I'm going to draw that number line that I've been using. Here's 0, 1, 2, 3, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. The two numbers were 2.37, about there, and negative 3.14, which I think is about there. So where is negative 3.15? I purposely made this one close to negative 3.14, but negative 3.15 is just a little bit to the left of negative 3.14. Let's say it's about there. So there's negative 3.15. Because it's to the left of negative 3.14, it's not in this region in the middle. So it's not in between. Negative 3.15 is not in between.